everybody. Welcome back. I've got a couple of journals that I've finally completed. I thought I'd do a quick flip through so you guys could have a look at these. Uh, they're both the same, uh, fabric covered. Uh, both have two signatures and they've got uh, 146 pages front and back. So I love this fabric. I love the colors in this because I like the teals, the browns, the golds. Um, the closure is a sari silk with an eyelet. And I've left the front and back plain. You could add pockets if you wanted to, but I just like the fabric so much I wanted to leave that showing. So I've done a lot of stitching within this and I've used several different kits um, throughout the journal, all keeping within kind of the golds and blue tones. Um, here I've got a little tuck spot and then this flips open so you can do some journaling there. Tried to add a lot of little flips and things and uh, here I've done some, this is a journal card that I had taken some scraps and then I added some a modeling paste to it and then I went over it with some of the rose gold uh, metallic uh, gilding wax. Just a little pocket there. Just a little snippet there with the die cut and some fabric. I've tried to add um, quite a few little tabs throughout. And a little journal card there that I've stamped. Here I've got a little handmade tag and then this was just some extra scraps that I stitched together just to make a little bit of extra writing space and that's tucked in. Uh, another little coin envelope, there's nothing in it but um, I wanted to include that because that was part of the kit. and. Uh, or one of the kits I use. Like I said, I've used several. And then here's a flip up. This is a little window that I made with a butterfly behind that. I love that. Another handmade tag. A little tuck spot here. I've added some um, just layered papers and then stitched it. So it's a pretty big um, journal. Um, the size, I don't know if I told you, the size is four and three quarter by six and a half. And it ends up being about a one and a half inch spine with that. So here I've got another um, pocket that flips over with a tag in there. And then I had made these little pockets with some napkin decoupage on um, some paper bag that I've just cut up and made into little pockets that would float within. And then this little tag here has been decoupage. The papers are all tea dyed within this journal. And then here just another little writing space, some collage there. And then I just got these in. Those are the um, the little coin protectors that uh, Wendy, at Wend Wendy's Journaling Adventure, uh, is where I first saw it from. And I managed to get my hands on some, so I've just added a little butterfly so that you could have an image on the... Um, both sides of that, and that's just been tucked into this little pocket. That was sewn on, and then another handmade tag. Another little journal card that I've just collaged with some paper, fabric, some stitching, and then added some twine to it. And that's just been tucked up under here, and this is a little, um, I'm calling these page adornments, um, and I recently showed how to make those on my patron channel. 
If you're interested, you can have a look in the description box below, and there's a link over to my Patreon site in case you want to find out a little bit more about that. little glassine envelope with just a little collage tag uh, or journal card and then this is just an extra bit of paper and I've stitched some lace to that. And then I um, recently showed how to do this technique on my Patreon site as well for some faux leather number tags. Another little tuck spot with a journaling card there. Another little snippet, some stitching. And then the little double coin envelope that I recently shared with you guys. And then I've included the, one of the window tags tucked in there, and then there's another pocket here as well that you could add something to. And then on the side here is just a little mini Rolodex card that that's been tucked in. And then the second signature here, some stitching. little flip out here and then here I've just made a specimen card and I've left it clear so that it would just you could still see the print you know when it's here but that slides out and then this is a double pocket here out of a book page so you can add something there as well and then I put a little tag in there I'm sorry guys if I'm not talking very loud today. I'm having a lot of problems with my um, throat at the moment. Um, another little bingo card that's stitched around and then there's a little tuck spot there and a tuck spot here. And then I recently did a video for this uh, journal card. So you can check through my tutorials and that shows how to make that. So yeah, I'm, I'm trying to not put much strain on my voice at the moment. <clears throat> so I'm hoping you guys will all be able to hear me. <laughs> okay, I know a lot of people say I, I speak very low as it, you know, even when I'm not having issues. But at the moment, yeah, my ears are, um, I think I've got a sinus infection because um, we had had... Um, some uh, damp and um, and things going on, and I think it's affected my uh, sinus tract. But here I've just made a little pocket and stitched that over some fabric. And then this was a um, little ATC card I made recently, and just another little bit of my stash. <clears throat> my stash is finally getting depleted to the point I think I'm going to need to. Um, to sit down and do some printing very soon once I decide what my next project's going to be. Here I've added a little bulb pin with a charm and a, a bit of lace there to that tab. And then this is another pocket. Uh, that should have had a um, journal card put in there. I will do that. In fact, let me just put something on here so that I know to do that. Um, and I recently showed how to make these as well, so if you're interested, like I said, just check the tutorial playlist. Um, did a little page adornment there. And then on this page, I've done another little long pocket with a tag. Some more stitching. And then this was some of the, um, I had some envelopes left over, and I just mod podged them and made them into long pockets. And then this is just some collage tags that I recently made. I stamped, stitched it, and another little fabric ruffle. And then here, got some more stitching on that page, and then I did another little handmade uh, journal card there. And that's just been clipped in. <coughs> 
another little snippet here. Journal card and a tuck spot on that page. Another little tuck spot here and a journal card. Love how that's come out. Some more collaging here. And a little tab. And then this is what I call the um, Angela pocket. Um, Angela showed how to um, make this, but was inspired by Judith. So it's kind of like my Angela Judith pocket. And I've got a little, um, this flips up so you can do some private writing there. And then this flips open, and within you've got another writing space here. And all of this can be written on. And then you've got another pocket on the very back. So thank you, uh, ladies, Judith and Angela, for sharing that. Another little snippet here. And then I've done another window pocket here with another tag in the back. So, so there you have it, guys. That is the journals. I've named these Live in the Moment, and I've got two that are available in the shop. So if you're interested, just check the link below to my shop. And um, I'll be back very soon, guys. I've got some projects to share with you very soon. So I hope everybody's staying safe and well, and I'll be back soon. Bye.